Qatar and Global Update, 16th March. Saudi Arabia's inflation rate fell slightly to 5.2% in February from 5.7%. Buyers return, but Dubai reality faces a long road to recovery. Prime Dubai properties have been snapped in past few months by buyers taking advantage of decade low prices, easy financing, and an economy open for business despite pandemic. Sale of luxury villas, sea view apartments, and second-hand family houses have jumped. Re-energizing a property market saw the sharp fall in the activity at the height of the pandemic has been a five-year slump prior to the, the COVID. So buyers return, but Dubai reality faces long road to recovery. Qatar streamlining listing foreign ownership norms bolster corporate governance. Qatar has enhanced its corporate governance, including the listing standards and foreign ownership rules in recent past even as the framework continues to evolve uh, in the Gulf Cooperation Council as rising number of companies tap the global markets according to Global Credit. Northfield to power Qatar's economic recovery, the 29 billion Northfield expansion project aimed at boosting Qatar's LNG output. Doha Bank shareholders approved the extension of the period again for the issuance of the bonds under the bank's Euro medium term note during the ordinary general meeting which was presented over the Monday by Doha Bank chairman and the managing director and other directors. Qatar Businessmen Association held a meeting on Monday with the UK minister. Is done holding as reported 12 point jump on year on year net profit 347 million in 2020. Qatar Airways launches worldwide partnership introduce new line of luxury uh, for premium passengers. Uh, again, overcoming crisis in focus at 7th Doha Islamic Finance Conference Doha's finance is overcoming the pandemic and other crises, achieving sustainable development goals under spotlight of 7th Doha Islamic Finance Conference. Doha-based gas exporting countries will be hosting a 50th lecture of its gas lecture series on Wednesday. FIFA World Cup to boost reverse logistic business. Milapol Qatar showcase latest innovation in homeland security. Three-day Doha Islamic Conference to begin on March 30th, virtually investing in talent to strengthen Qatar ICT ecosystems. Qatar Stock Exchange maintain upward trend. We are seeing the stock market is picking up. SIAIL elects a new board of directors. Salam International Investment Limited has elected a new board of directors during the annual general meeting. SME must focus on protecting data experts. Microsoft team Delivery startup Snunu. Microsoft announced it has joined forces with Snunu, Qatar's fastest growing delivery services company, in a move that will accelerate startup of digital transformation and allows engagement customers and optimize relationship. Government projects to boost Qatari banks' lending growth. The banking sector of Qatar will be less impacted by adverse effects of COVID 19. The lending growth in Qatar, along with Saudi Arabia, will be more than GCC countries. Globally, China wants Alibaba to sell its media assets, including SEMP. China's factory and retail activity surged in the first two months. Short sellers are taking aim at AirAsia Group after more than double from recent loss. Russia mulls faster rate hikes this year as inflation hikes. Danone Sachs chairman after investors onslaught. Danone said it is it has dismissed the chairman after months of complaint from foreign shareholders about the French food and drinks giants underperforming share price. Volkswagen aimed to Tesla with own European uh, Giga factories. And uh, billionaire Elon Musk changes his Tesla job title to Tech Knocking. That's interesting, isn't it? Elon Musk, the billionaire chief executive of Tesla, with the pension of electronic behavior. Eccentric behavior, I should say, electronic eccentric behavior, has changed its job title to tech knocking of the electric car manufacturer. It's interesting. It's, in addition to Musk, who is also is retained his position as chief executive as the company's financial chief, Zuck has been rebranded as Master of Coin. Uh, interesting, creative. A rate hike bet offers cushion after emerging market 
a route emerging market currencies could catch a breather for a following big four-week slide in more than a year after investors bet on more hawkish tone from central bankers developing world. So plenty of excitement in the making around the world and Qatar as well.